two or three drops put on your finger then touch with two fingers and try to pull it how the that particular layer will take shape will it be 3d or will it be 2d it will be like a 3d no from any angle if you weave it it will be of this particular shape only it will appear am i right so i do have limitations i can't show 3d diagram if you weave it from any side it will be of like this only actually this is a thing it's a plate no so the plate will be of like this no uh th th this is the layer huh? oh oh you are able to understand what, what actually i wanted to show you can see this if you view from or, or any one side the diagram will be like this so this will be slight 3d diagram is what i'm bringing uh able to uh, imagine this this is upper plate this is a lower plate actually the moment if i uh, tell this one no, students should imagine uh, that this what needed uh, i don't know nowadays what's happening students everything they want from teacher even the imagination also then how it is possible science without imagination is of no use that this what happening if you don't draw this diagram sir not understood ah, okay sir not explaining properly <laughs> that this what happening actually what happened i should leave, give this question and i i should ask the students to draw a diagram okay no huh? this is a thing okay let's get into this one i'll i'll at least now sir i am able to understand please uh, uh, no no more this is the lowest level a teacher is doing that one if you are unable to follow this definitely you have to put effort you should put effort on your brain okay this is the separation between that uh, what is a a is the area of contact angle of contact in fact will be zero no we know it okay time being let me take this is theta uh, there is a radius of curvature if this is theta Uh, in the end, I'll, I'll I'll make theta because for calculation <laughs> purpose I brought it. Fine. So what what is capital R? Capital R is this one. No? This is the radius of curvature. Even this is the radius of curvature. I, and this distance is how much? D by two. This is D by two. Okay. I think almost we are at better position now. So let me take points one. Where is the water drop? Water drop is this one. This is a glass, and here we have air, and this is air. So points one, two, we'll take three and four. And these points are very important. Where is the? Now let's come for this one. How the meniscus will be? 
I'm using word meniscus, this particular shape. Can anybody able to imagine what is this, how it will be? Anybody wants to reply? How do, how do this particular shape? This is the side view one. This is the side view. If you, if you stand here, it, it, sorry, if you stand here, it will appear like this. Like this one. If you stand here, it will appear. So if you want, we'll give some name. B1, B2. Okay, sorry, this one. B1, B2. Fine. If you stand here and if you draw the diagram, it'll appear like this. If you slightly come here, you see, you can see here is one meniscus, here is one meniscus. So what is this meniscus will be, shall I say, syndical meniscus? The meniscus will be curved one. Now you can see this. Uh, where the pressure, pressure will be more on one or two. Pressure at one will be more, no? And we have two radii. Now, once again, I'm putting this diagram. Syndical meniscus. Okay, fine, yeah, I think. You can see this. What is the radius of this? Will be infinity, no? Radius of curve. What is the radius of curvature of this? Will be R. Uh, let's come for. Uh, you you can imagine either way. So I, shall I uh, do one thing? I think I'll take one paper. Why to still some of you are asking me. Okay, I think you are. So what is that syndical meniscus? I am talking so much now. This is syndical meniscus. Getting the idea now? Here, here, what is the curvature? R, what is the curvature of this? This, I think it is having two curvatures, no? What is the curvature of this? R, no? What is the curvature of this? It is infinity. Paper, paper, you fold it. It's a syndical meniscus. Uh, at least you are able to get this one. So it will be like this. Huh? And trying to show by all, so you can take paper and check it. So what is the radius of curvature of, of this one will be R. So here it will have center of curvature here. This will be R. What about of this? Straight line, no? What is the radius of curvature of straight line? Should be infinity. So syndical meniscus will be will be like this. Huh? Half of all of pipe. So how do this? How do this particular surface will be? Shall I say half of the syndical pipe? Half of the syndical pipe. Uh, how do this surface will be half of the syndical pipe? <coughs> like that four cylindrical of cylindrical pipes you combine and the volume between them is what this particular water drop the water drop will be like this okay now we're getting into problem i think i gave enough explanation let's get into mathematics where the pressure will be more where the pressure will be more pressure on where concave side so one is concave side this, this one is concave side, this is convex side, no? Pressure at one will be more than two. So therefore, now what is the pressure at one, three, four? Pressure at one, two, pressure at one, three, four. P not any reason, it's A. Then what is the pressure at one, two relationship? Pressure at one equal to P2 plus 
shall i write st by r or 2 st by r Shall I go for S T by R? No, sufficient T no. Okay, T T by R. Ah, uh, why? It is so. You you can if you want to write T into one by R one plus one by R two. One radius will be infinity. Other will be R. We are writing this one. So there's a reason. Shall I proceed further? All of you, if you say S, I'll I'll go further. No, it's still. Mm, yeah. The radius of this will be infinity. The radius of curvature of this is r. Here is point one. This is a point two. Now, the, this a diagram is what I can <coughs> more than this not possible. I will write all the things here only. P one equal to P two plus T into r. Bring like this. Okay, now. Uh, P two is how much? P naught, T into R, P one minus P naught. Sorry, sorry. P one is P naught, no. The pressure at this point is P two, so P naught minus P two is equal to T into R. So this will become delta P. Okay, let's come for the triangle here. So this will be cos theta equal to d by two by r. So what is r is equal to d by two cos theta. Let me substitute that here. So this delta p is equal to t is equal to d by two. Cos theta. So therefore, this will be two t cos theta by d. Now, what is delta p? Shall we write this is pressure force by area? So what is area? Area of the plates is A is telling where the bubble is in contact. Spread down area. So what what is area? Area you have to take like this. so how you define delta p force by area so therefore what is f we are interested f no so delta p into a let's get into delta p so 2t cos theta by d into a Anything can we adjust here? So theta very small, <coughs> theta will be very small. Angle of contact, so this will become two t a by d. So he has not given the distance d between plates. He has given volume. So what is the volume? Volume should become equal to a into d. So therefore, this will become further two t a d will be. V by A. So, what is the force of attraction? Two T A square by V. Means what does it mean? The the actually there will be force exerted by the air on the plates in this direction. To separate them, you should exert equal and opposite force. So that's why you take two glass plates, put some two three drops. They'll get stuck. To pull them, what happen? You should apply force of this much. If they if they spread down more area, then you should apply more force to separate here. Okay, let me give one more diagram. If this is the two glass plates, so in the water, what happen will spread like this.
then then here what is the condition this is what the force will be excited this is a glass plate the external air the air outside will be pressing this one to separate the torpedo you should apply equal and opposite force to separate so how much of force you should apply to separate you should overcome this particular force that's all no so here it will be like this huh? so if spread out if area of spread is more then you should apply more force so as as you as you decrease the distance <coughs> as you decrease the distance tell me what will what do you expect <coughs> 